in the exact center of your brain resides a tiny organ called the pineal gland, about the size and shape of a kernel of corn. According to medical science, the pineal gland is the first gland in your body to be formed. And it is clearly distinguishable a mere three weeks after conception. In Western culture, there was a time when doctors were taught that the pineal gland had no useful purpose, a mere vestige of our evolutionary past. However, it was discovered, or more properly, acknowledged, that the pineal gland produced a hormone called melanin. Melanin is a pigment associated with blackness. In the dictionary the meaning for the word black has always been looked upon as purely negative. However, melanin plays multiple life-giving roles in the body. Not only does this amazing hormone counteract stress, minimize symptoms of jet lag and regulate biological rhythms, it may even help protect against cancer, reduce the risk of heart disease, and play a role in how long we live. Blackness may be a blessing and not a curse. The study of melanin may be a key for unlocking the doors of mass enslavement to ignorance. Each step in the production of melanin requires certain nutritional components. Each biochemical reaction in the chain is controlled by a specific enzyme. When all proper elements are available, a considerable amount of melanin is produced. If elements are lacking, less is produced. The more melanin one has, the more frequencies of light rays and other frequencies can be safely absorbed by them. Chemical reactions occur in the melanin molecule which allow it greater energy efficiency, and thus little if any energy is reflected. Those with less melanin reflect more energy away. More than one type of melanin is found in humans, and the more powerful darker types have less sulfur. Zero to one percent, while the lighter types have more sulfur, nine to twelve percent. The sulfur content induces mutations which contribute to cancer formation more readily from UV light exposures. An oscillator is a circuit which produces or responds to electromagnetic waves usually within a certain range of frequencies. They respond most strongly to vibrations at their own resonant frequency. Basically, everything in nature is an oscillator and responds to an outer exciter or spark or generator, which many people call God. Many Oscillators respond to light by absorbing and emitting specific frequencies. These oscillators can be human cells, plant cells, or other various creations within the vast universe. And all can exhibit quantum states still little understood by top minds of science today. Melanin exhibits varying types of electrical charges and binding properties responsible for its great electromagnetic activities. Melanin responds to light, sound, and electricity and uses any or all of these as nutrients. It has been shown to convert light energy into sound, and then back into light again. It is involved in all mental and physical activities of people, and has been shown to possess semiconductive properties even outside of the body. Thus, 
melanin can either conduct energy or insulate from it in certain directions as needed by the body for optimal functioning. It has great use in absorbing energy rays of vibration for use within the nervous system. Melanin can be fed by charges from the outer world and use them internally for the body's sustenance. Thus, it is important to get sunlight rays each day, if possible, to recharge the internal systems. Absorption of energy is necessary for electrons to move across the semiconductor melanin molecules. Hence, the dark color of melanin is needed to absorb more energy. With less absorption comes less conductive activity as well. Increased conductivity brings increased sensitivities to electromagnetic worlds of etheric beings. Amazingly, chlorophyll, the green liquid within plants, is a first cousin of melanin. It is good to drink daily or eat in one's food. When a force is applied repeatedly at the same frequency of any system, large amplitude of oscillations occur. This is the phenomenon of resonance. The Earth itself has its own resonant frequency. It has been increasing since the late 1980s and will soon reach a key vibration point of 13. As this occurs, our pineal glands, as long as remaining decalcified, will synchronize with the Earth vibrations. The pineal gland magnetically attracts energy up the spine and can bring one, possibly, to the higher plane of existence. Perhaps our next step of evolution as a species? Purify the heart and find your peace within, as the journey day by day comes closer to an end. One way or another it is inevitable for you. Why not be prepared?